Hello again, I am Blunty. Very much enjoying a beautiful day out here, sitting in the shade, got birds tweeting, the wind is gently rustling through the leaves, and you are hearing me through the Sennheiser MKE 200 on camera microphone, that which this video is sponsored about. Sentence kind of fell, fell apart at the end there, didn't it? The point is. Sennheiser are sponsoring this look at their brand new on-camera microphone. I mean, naturally, this is a sponsored video, so I'm supposed to tell you all the nice things about it, but uh, you know me, no BS pours forth from the, any orifice on this big melon, and I'm here to tell you, I really like it. I now awkwardly interrupt the regular flow of this video to please beg you for those interactivity things that the YouTube algorithm loves so much. Give me a thumb, leave me a comment, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, do the whole malarkey, share the video, whatever you need to do. Just anything, anything to fight against the evil robotic mind of the YouTube algorithm is going to help me, please. I'm begging you. Let's get back to the point of the video now, shall we? You are, of course, listening to it right now, so you can judge this sound for yourself. I'm going to have several other demonstrations in different environments and different use cases for you to listen to through, further in the video. So let's talk about the design at first. Right, so small, unobtrusive, compact, robust, light, easy to take with you. All of these things are at the very top of my list underneath sound quality when it comes to a microphone that I'm going to take with me. Because frankly, if something's bulky or you know a bit fragile or hard to pack or if it if it's not going to survive being thrown into a bag without taking extra care about it because i do run and gun shoot quite a lot i need to be able to whip stuff out slam it on the camera and go and whip it off and check it in the bag and go i don't want to waste time fiddling with special little cases and boxes and extra bulk and yeah, none of that and that's what this gives me this gives me just pure elegant convenience speed now of course an on-camera microphone is not ideal for all situations i'm like you know, two, two, two times vlog length away from the camera at this point. The microphone is still mounted on the camera. You can still hear me fine, but it doesn't sound as good as when I'm up close to it, does it? Uh, one of the reasons I like these type of small, compact, on-camera microphones is because of their utility, because... When I do go out shooting, I always like to travel as light as possible because who wants to carry around a big heavy bag of gear? I normally only take one, maybe two mics, maybe a lav mic, maybe my on-camera mic, which is why I sometimes work like this in particularly challenging or noisy situations, expo show floors and things like that. Obviously, I can't demo that for you right now because there are no expos running right now for some reason, but I do tend to use the on-camera mics on a little mini tripod or a selfie stick or something like that to emulate a handheld stick style mic for this kind of presentation. So, as demonstrations go, this is how this sounds with that purpose in mind. And I rather like how this sounds with this purpose in mind. It sure as hell beats how the on-camera mics sound. And again, I'm just gonna keep using this demonstration because I like to drive home just how extremely important it is to get a microphone. There is only one problem with doing this, especially on Expo show floors and things like that, and that is uh, dragging the extension cable from your microphone to your camera. Uh, on busy show floors in particular, people will walk between you and the camera because they're not sit looking where they're going and they'll trip over this or they'll catch it and they'll pull the camera over. And I've had that happen a couple of times. Not the best idea, but there is another way around that that works even better than this and it gives you even more range. So if you are doing a walk and talk or you're just standing further away from the camera and you don't want a big long cable getting in your way, this is the way I handle that. You can get these little wireless transmitter receiver things. I'm currently using a Sennheiser model. Of course I am because this is a Sennheiser sponsored video to begin with. This isn't part of the sponsorship. They wanted me to talk about the microphone, but I just happen to have these handy because I do use them for exactly this purpose. So hopefully those several little demonstrations have driven home the absolute utility of a little microphone like this and why they are my personal favorite choice. If I'm going to take one microphone with me it's going to be one of these it's not going to be a handheld mic it's not going to be a lavalier mic it's going to be an on-camera mic because i can cover those other uses with this microphone with a couple of bit of extra bits of gear that are you know combined less bulky less heavy less of a mess than actually just bringing several mics with me the other thing that's very very important in microphones these days especially for vloggers in that we often use our real camera but also support it with our phone as well. So having a microphone that can do double duty is very important. Now there are certain adapters you can get for your phone to help you with that, but having a microphone that does it natively is extremely important to me because of the way I work. And that's what this does. It comes with two separate cables, one with a regular TRS, so it'll go straight into your camera, just a regular 3.5 three pole thing, but also has a 3.5 four pole thing or TRS. TRSS? TRS. I forget what the acronym is. It's on screen. I get confused. Any idea how many acronyms I deal with on a daily basis? Ridiculous. So obviously with a lot of phones around these days... Now I've got wasps and screeching cockatoos. Wonderful. Right, now this right here would normally be my microphone torture test. I have however made two slight uh, miscalculations today. It's not as torturous as it could be. 
number one, of course, uh, less people are on the roads just by the nature of the world being how it is right now. Uh, number two, even less people on the roads today because I happen to be shooting on a public holiday. So when I turn around with the intent of showing you how much traffic noise there is behind me, there is a lot less traffic noise than there usually would be, making this test less effective and less brutal than it otherwise would be. But hopefully there are enough cars uh, to sort of drive home the point about how directional this microphone is. And if I turn around this way, you should hear far less of that traffic and more of me. Fingers crossed that it all worked out. If it didn't work out, I might leave it out of the video or I might leave it in just to embarrass myself and, uh, you know, you gotta learn from your mistakes. Nice up here though. Bright, but nice. Also on my top list of things my on-camera microphones must have and that is battery free operation and that's what this does of course because I used to use on-camera microphones that were powered by batteries and guess what I never remembered to do? Turn them bloody off again between takes or when I put my camera in my bag to go on my lunch break when I'm shooting at a con or something uh, or you know get back to the hotel at the end of the night I would forget to turn the microphone off and the next day the battery would be flat. Uh, I can't even tell you how many times I did that. I'm so bad about turning off the microphone so being battery free is huge to me. It also means there is no extra battery to remember to keep charged. You don't have to keep spare batteries around if it goes flat on the show floor. You've only got your camera battery to worry about. Maybe your light battery as well. But one less battery to worry about charging or replacing is also good. Even if you are good at remembering to turn the bloody thing off. Unlike yours truly. One of the other important design considerations is of course uh, resistance to wind noise because that is a really really ugly sound to have in your videos it's deeply unpleasant to listen to and can sometimes kind of completely wipe out your voice depending on the microphone so as a native mic as without anything else the perforated shell does have some wind protection it's got some little foam and whatnot inside to help protect against that and the shell itself helps prevent against you know gusts of winds and things like that but if you're in particularly challenging situations it also comes with a, a fluffy and it is one of the most luxurious, gorgeous, soft, and it's, it's, it's like, I've seen children's toys that are less plush and gorgeous and soft than this. You know, toys made for infants with their delicate little skin. They'd be lucky to have a toy made out of whatever fluffy stuff that Sennheiser found to make their, their windsock out of. It's gorgeous, and it works really well. Let me show you. Now, as you should be able to tell from the uh, way my as yet unmanaged lockdown haircut is wafting in the breeze, we are standing in a bit of a gust here. Not, well, it's a breeze. It's not a gust. Slightly more than a breeze, slightly less than a gust, somewhere in between, but a really good demonstration of how well that big fluffy wind killer on the microphone can actually do its job. And just to drive my point home, I'm going to unplug it now and show you what this sounds like with the on-camera mics. And there you are. Please take my apologies to your ears. I know this is unpleasant to listen to, but that's the point. You want a microphone that does help filter out windy noise, especially if you're outside doing the whole vloggy thing, because, you know, a doy. Who wants to listen to this when they could be listening to this? Isn't that nicer? Actually, the wind has picked up even more. You might even be able to hear it through. The, I mean, this. Now we're sitting gusty. Locked down here. It's getting out of control. Now, if you do shoot like me, very run and gun, at least when we're able to run and gun at events and things like that, you're often doing sort of basic editing in the hotel room at the end of the night, depending on how time crunch sensitive some of the stuff you're producing is, which means you also need to sometimes supplement with voiceover stuff. And again, I like to travel really light uh, as light as possible. So I normally only take one or two microphones. So when I am traveling for cons and stuff like that, I almost never bring a, a proper studio or desktop microphone with me to do the voiceover stuff. So having a microphone that can do that as well indoors and sound good and sound clear and sound very present as a voiceover microphone is important. So let's go back inside. We'll have a listen to that. So here we are back inside. I've got the MKE 200 just hooked up directly into the computer. And this is an example of what uh, using it in a more controlled environment will get you. Uh, like I said, my general use case for doing this kind of stuff with a microphone like this uh, obviously not my first choice for a desktop microphone kind of thing in this environment. I'd have something sort of more permanently and something custom, you know, designed for this particular purpose. But when I am traveling, when I'm in hotel rooms and things like that, knowing that I can get nice, clear, present voiceover recordings done for the videos that are time sensitive, that I do need to get edited while I'm traveling, uh, knowing that a microphone can perform that duty is very important to me. So here we are. So what about the good old fashioned vlogger walk and talk? Well, of course you're hearing it now. Uh, pretty much exactly what this microphone is intended for. Small, compact, robust, brutally good. Uh, it's designed for bloody hell. Oh. So guess who forgot to bring their neutral density filter out for their camera 
today. Somebody did. Anyway, uh, the point of me adjusting my shutter speed on the fly here is so you can get an idea about the handling noise. Now, this is, like I said, a sponsored video. That's no good. Look at that. Now my hair disappears. Look at that. It's like I got a halo. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what was I saying? Ah, <sighs> dappled shade. Much better. It's getting warm out there. So, like I said in the intro, this is a sponsored video. Uh, in a regular review, I would do an A-B comparison between this and a competitive microphone, but being a sponsored video, they generally don't like you to prominently feature their competitive products. I will tell you this much. I have done that test off camera, as it were, and the handling noise is about the same as what you see with most uh, on-camera microphones of this kind of size and form factor and things like that. So I have no worries there. What I do like about this better than those other mics though is the way that the shock absorption is internal. So the entirety of the external of the microphone is one solid piece. There are no moving parts, there are no wibbly parts. Some of those other microphones, you know, they're on those little wibbly things as the shock absorbers, which work brilliantly, fine, but it does make them a bit awkward to sort of pack away. You have to put them in a special case or you risk them sort of getting pushed out of shape or anything. This thing, there's nothing on the outside that moves. You can just whack it in your case. And because it's built so robust, you're never gonna break anything off it. And because the cable screws in, it's never gonna pop out on you accidentally. And just for another point of comparison and common example about how people will use these microphones, city street, log and talk, vlog, lots of chatter, traffic noise, occasional train. Uh, hopefully it sounds fine. I'm expecting it to sound fine. Haven't tried this myself, but at this point, I've done enough tests with this microphone to feel pretty confident that it's going to sound fantastically clear and I'm going to sound very present despite all the background noise of a busy, busy, a busy city Sydney street. I'll say that times eight times fast. I can't form a sentence right now. But hey, you've been listening to it yourself. You tell me how it sounds. You tell me how flexible this microphone is. You tell me how utilitarian this little device is. So, thank you very much for watching. I am Blunty. Thank you to Sennheiser for again sponsoring this video. Uh, thank you once more to the patrons floating above there. Uh, with or without sponsors, you guys make a tremendous, wonderful, kind difference with your tr above and beyond support. And I do thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Actually, bottom, down there, isn't it? But the bottom of my heart's off camera. You'll have to imagine it. Picture it in your mind. I dare you.